8 to 10 on PartyMobile.com, the party before the party. And we are here right now, still at Bethesda Blues and Jazz Club. We are capturing the essence of Grease with a side of mobile sauce. And you know we couldn't end this night without capturing Miss Bob. Miss Bob. Yes, darling. What was that role like for you? Oh, it was so, so, so fun because everybody got a little bit in it. So to be able to play that and portray that and not feel guilty was absolutely fun. So, it was a little bit pedophilia, but you know. <laughs> so, 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 so when the lights came on and they showed you, I heard a few women say, well, God damn. Yeah, actually, every night, surprisingly, it was always the women. Maybe the men were scared because they was with their women. Probably. Probably. Damn. But I know, yeah. I know it was like a whole, you know how a hush goes over a crowd? You know, everybody, I think, in unison. God damn. Yeah. What was it? Was it the, was it the booty? It was, as soon as you came out and you was on the chalkboard and you hit the, yes. It could have been the booty, but I saw the booty. And okay. then, and then okay. when you dropped it down. Drop it low. Yes. I think everybody was like. Well, half the crowd couldn't get yeah. low no more anyway. Oh, These ain't the same. I yeah. mean, you got to work them out often. <laughs> so one of the things that you did bring up, though, is uh, the sexualizing of the character in this type of play. What does it mean for you to be able to play a black character and be sexualized, but still bring out what the character is supposed to be about? I'm going to be honest, I struggled with it at first. But I actually started this journey where I'm, I have a, a brand called Artistic Moon, mm -hmm. where I'm exploring authenticity and sex positivity. And so this actually helped me to marry the character and get to know her layers deeper. And that allowed me to bring her to life in a different way instead of her just being objectified. Mm. Even though we know she still was, right. yeah. it for me, I was able to go deeper with her because of that. So I don't know if that answered your question. It but. absolutely did. So you, you were actually in the play, but who was your favorite character besides yourself oh. in the play? That's hard. I mean, it, everybody is amazing. So and was, I can really say favorite? that. Yo, why did I do that favorite? <laughs> who was your favorite? Mm. Okay. Assistant Principal Leona is one of my favorites. Oh, she's I, dope. One of my favorites. Hilarious. I have to pick more than one. That's um, fine. Give us your top three or five. We'll, we'll let you off the hook like that. Nah, that's cheating. It is. It's too cheap. many good we characters, need though. One more, one more. The print, the, since the principal was like that. Yeah, for sure. Because we're sure. using the words like that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you know, Miss Parker doesn't say like that. <laughs> she went to Howard. Yeah, yeah, you said she's, like not, she's not from yeah. D.C. She's a transplant, if you can oh. tell. But um, <laughs> let's see, the other person might have been. Uh, Scooby, <laughs> Frank, Dan. What do you think? Hilarious. Hilarious. And can sing. Bishop actually brought up a good point earlier and said that we feel like Slow Mo is actually a um, underrated, really good main character in the play. Right. What do you feel about that? I, I don't know that he's underrated. He's dope. He's amazing. Why? Why? Why do you choose the words underrated? So we said we heard someone come out earlier and they felt like. He was, being he, was, yeah, he was being exploited for having special needs. Oh, so what are your thoughts? That's of deep. How do, you, mm -hmm. how do you portray someone that has special needs without exploiting them and like giving them the shine and respect mm -hmm. that they actually deserve? That's deep. I, because then I'm going to start asking questions. Well, why did they feel like he was being exploited? Oh, she, she didn't give us the opportunity yeah, to speak not at all. She just yeah, I, I would have wanted to pick her brain. Because oh, we if wanted you're going to say that... We you have to be able to, you know what I mean, verify, back it up, explain. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean it's not like making fun of them, but we all can relate to someone. We can all relate. Uh -huh. yeah. There was some of everybody in this. Every every demographic in our community, they, we, they try to type that and say we're one way, but there's so many different variations of black DC, of blackness. You, all of that was in the play. It was dope. All of it. So I wouldn't say exploit. I would say that's me. Everybody can have different perceptions, the ways and filters in which they take that type of information. But for me, the representation. Exactly. The representation. We need that. And fun. I mean, it's a fine line between satire and comedy. So. 
not to go too deep. I mean, I am a teacher. (laughs) We definitely feel like you captured the essence of your character. I mean, you know, she is actually smart and she's married, even though she's a (laughs) freak. Who said you're ready to be a freak when you marry? I mean, right? I mean, I ain't married married no more, but I was there sure a freak when I was. Okay. I am after. Okay. Anyway, I'm your girl Justice J. This is Bishop King. We are Party Mode Live, baby. Make sure you guys catch us each and every Wednesday from 8 to 10 on PartyModeLive.com. How about PartyModeLive.com? And we are out with Reese with a shot of mumbo sauce. Hi, Miss Parker. Hi.